Welcome to Backyard Biology, Nature Activities from My Backyard and Beyond. There are a number of insects that feed on the milkweed plant. In this activity, we will try to replicate the tactics used by these insects to deactivate one of the main defenses milkweed uses to protect itself. Milkweed leaves contain latex housed in laticifers, which follow the veins of the leaf. The latex is under pressure, and when the leaf is cut by an insect, the latex oozes out of the laticifers. It hardens upon contact with the air and can gum up the mouth parts of the feeding insect. As you can see, when I cut the tip of the leaf, the latex is forced out of the cut. Any feeding insect would get a mouthful of this latex, and when it hardens, it could be fatal to the insect. Here is a close-up of the tip of the leaf that I just cut. Before feeding on the tip of the leaf, the red milkweed beetle makes a couple of cuts on the main rib of the leaf. Here you can see when I cut the leaf, some of the latex is leaking out of the hole. By cutting the laticifer at this point, the beetle has released the pressure of the latex on the tip of the leaf, making it safe for the beetle to feed. So now let's see what happens when I cut the tip of the leaf. Did I release the pressure? or will the latex still seep out? As you can see, there's very little latex coming out of the leaf after I've released the pressure. In fact, the only place you see the latex seeping out is in the laticifers that originate above the cut that I made. Here is a close-up of the leaf. By cutting the main vein, I have disarmed the latex defenses at the tip of the leaf. As with the tip of the leaf, any cut on the side of the leaf will also release the latex. Here is a close-up of the latex oozing out of the leaf on the cut I just made on the leaf's edge. The milkweed leaf beetle feeds on the edge of the leaf. Before feeding, it makes a series of cuts in the side laticifers, again reducing the pressure of the latex where the insect is about to feed. And now, when I cut on the edge of the leaf, imitating the feeding of the milkweed leaf beetle, there should be no latex leaking out of the leaf. A close-up reveals that the part of the leaf that had the laticifers severed shows little or no leakage of latex where I cut the leaf. However, above this point, the latex is still leaking out of the cut. If an insect were to start feeding from the center of the leaf, it would sever a laticifer and the latex would be forced out of the hole. To get around this problem, the young monarch caterpillars cut a circular trench in the underside of the leaf.
Once the trench is cut, the pressure of the latissifers within the trench is eliminated and the caterpillar can now feed within the trench without having to deal with the latex. As you can see from this close-up, when I make a hole within the trench, no latex is released. The caterpillar can now feed safely. For more nature activities from my backyard and beyond, as well as nature stories, check out the Backyard Biology website at www.backyardbiology.net.